We're back in the first build shop, and today we're gonna focus on building ourselves a welding table. The ideal situation is to have a really good, solid welding surface. Well, here at the first build shop, we actually have the absolute best welding table that you will find on the market today. And it's designed for us to quickly jig up and fixture any weldment that we want to make. This table has a ton of accessories that allow you to quickly set these fixtures up on the table. All the holes are designed to fit a two inch center. We just throw these up against this precision corner, take your clamp, drop it down on the table, and boom, you are now fixtured square. It's all designed to be interchangeable and modular in fixturing. We're gonna replicate this table at a quarter inch plate here at First Build that will make your fabrication 10 times easier. Let's go over to see Jeremy and he's gonna show us how to quickly draw this thing up. Then we're gonna move that file over to the laser and Jake is gonna show us how to burn it out real quick. And then we're gonna come back here and assemble it. So let's go. So this is Jeremy. Jeremy's one of our metalsmiths here. Let's take a look at what Jeremy's done. So point your cursor at that. So this is where we lock the two pieces together. They call that tab and slot construction. That's what we do a lot of times for fixtures. That serves as an alignment point. It also allows us to drop a little weld in there to join those two together. If you notice, we've got just a small recess in this part so that we can go in there and run a weld in there and it won't be above the table. The old table back there, the strong hand is 5 8 thick. It doesn't really need the substructure. We're kind of cheating by making it only a quarter inch thick, so we're gonna put in a web system underneath it to give it some structure so that when we're laying anything on there, it stays flat and it stays strong. So let's head over to the laser and we'll get Jake to make our, our table for us. So here we go. So this is Jake, he runs our laser. Jake's showing you the large four by four plate that we're getting ready to cut that makes the top of the table. And then you've got four equal sides around the perimeter. Those are the four pieces there. Jake's gonna dump that data file over to the laser, hit the button and let this thing cut those out. So let's take a look at uh, us cutting that out. This is going to cut all the 316s, quarter inch. Yeah, and then I'll load the quarter inch. I got to do a lens swap, uh, and then I'll cut the quarter inch. All right, so this is what the parts look like uh, when they come off the laser. And if you look at these parts, you'd expect to see some kind of slag or dross on the bottom of the parts. Uh, they're really clean, really good cuts. If you were to feel this, even without gloves on, it's not very sharp, uh, so you wouldn't have to deburr this part or anything like that. So the next step is gonna be to take them over to our weld fabrication area, and Randy's gonna start welding up this table. I've got Jody with me today. Jody's one of our metal smiths here at First Build. He's actually gonna be doing all the welding on the table. This table is gonna serve as our flatness reference, so we're gonna set our table on top of this table. We're gonna build it upside down so that we know that that tabletop's gonna be flat. We've uh, deployed a whole lot of these hold down clamps and all these cross members fit together and they will hold the top surface of this table completely flat. We're getting ready to weld it. All these clamps are holding that table down flush against our master reference. That way when we get done and we lift this table off, we'll be guaranteed that that top surface is just perfectly flat. Other than that, we're not gonna run total beads across every one of these joints. The more heat you put into it, the more distortion you're gonna get. That's the critical step to making sure that we maintain flatness on this table. It gets all of its structure from these individual cross members. All we wanna do is hold it together. So we're just gonna be tacking it running very small beads all the way throughout. So with that being said, let's get to welding. So Jody's got the tire table welded up. We're ready to go. It's time to put the legs on. You're still gonna be able to drop pins through the top. We'll set this plate in. Jody's gonna tack it in. Then we're gonna put some feet on the bottom. Call it a day. All right, my man. So I'll get a good weld. 
So we're getting ready to put our leg mount onto the top of the leg. One of the things that we want to make sure is that this leg mount is perpendicular to this surface. We made our own set of fixtures to do that. I'm going to have uh, Jody tack this up real quick, just like that. And you'll notice if you come around here, line the holes up, we'll drop our pins in there. That'll give us a vertical surface by which to reference and get a, a good weld on this. So this block is a precision machine block that we already know is true and square to this table. So we're gonna use it just like we use this master to build this table. I'm gonna use this master to square up my fixture. Then I know that my fixture is as square as this is. So we'll use that to build this with. Yeah. And we're gonna cheat a little bit. So that's our new fixture, plumb and square. Cody. That's it. I just gotta go tack, 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 tack. That is, that is, that is just killer, Jody. That is just killer. So the table's done. Now, the beauty of these tables are great. They're flat, they're wonderful, but the power really comes in in the fixture. We've developed a couple different unique fixtures here that allows us to use our table to jig up certain weldments and hit them very quickly. So we designed a, another fixture uh, based on some of the work that we do here. This is a right angle but it can be a right angle at just about any angle. We can drop one of our pins in and rotate this back and forth to come up with whatever angle infinitely variable from zero to 180. We've got the corner cut out for it, so that if we want, we can actually join this up at 45 degree angles and actually run our bead down through this joint that we have in the corner. So everything on the table is designed to operate in a square situation. The table's very powerful in what it can do, not only as a flat surface, but in the fixturing as well. We are uh, on a journey to completely fabricate our own table with all the fixturing on it, and you're following along. So see you on the next video.